Which of the following best describes an Einstein ring? Your options are A. A ring-shaped galaxy formed due to collision of galaxies B. A circular pattern formed due to strong gravitational lensing C. A ring formed by dust clouds around a supermassive black hole D. A luminous ring caused by supernova explosions And the correct answer is Option B. A circular pattern formed due to strong gravitational lensing. What makes Altieri's ring unique compared to most other Einstein rings discovered so far? Your options are A. It is formed by two colliding galaxies that emit intense radio waves. B. It is located in a very well-studied, nearby galaxy. NGC 6505 C. It was the first Einstein ring to be discovered in the visible spectrum D. It is the largest known Einstein ring in the universe And the correct answer is Option B. It is located in a very well-studied, nearby galaxy, NGC 6505 Which of the following phenomena is primarily responsible for the formation of multiple images in a gravitational lensing event? Your options are A. Diffraction of light B. Polarization of light C. Curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects D. Electromagnetic lensing by cosmic magnetic fields And the correct answer is Option C. Curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects. Which of the following methods helped confirm that Altieri's ring was indeed a gravitationally lensed system? Your options are A. Measurement of radio emissions from the source galaxy. B. Spectroscopic observations from telescopes like Keck. C. Direct imaging using only ground-based optical telescopes. D. Observation of periodic supernova explosions. And the correct answer is. Option C. Direct imaging using only ground-based optical telescopes. What is the approximate distance of galaxy NGC 6505 from Earth, where Altieri's ring was discovered? Your options are A. 59 million light years B. 590 million light years C. 4.5 billion light years D. 13.8 billion light years And the correct answer is Option B. 590 million light years Who first predicted that light would bend in the presence of massive objects, laying the groundwork for gravitational lensing theories? Your options are A. Isaac Newton B. Galileo Galilei C. Albert Einstein D. Edmond Halley And the correct answer is Option C. Albert Einstein How many new gravitational lenses does the Euclid mission expect to discover? Your options are A. Around 1000 B. Around 10,000 C. Around 50,000 D. Around 100,000 And the correct answer is Option D. Around 100,000 Which of the following is not a potential scientific benefit of studying Einstein rings? Your options are A. Testing general relativity B. Understanding dark matter distribution C. Measuring universe's expansion D. Determining chemical composition of Earth's atmosphere And the correct answer is Option D. 
determining chemical composition of Earth's atmosphere. Which telescope data, apart from Euclid, helped confirm the total mass of stars and distance to NGC 6505 and the background galaxy? Your options are A. Hubble Space Telescope B. James Webb Space Telescope C. Canada France Hawaii Telescope and Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument D. Spitzer Space Telescope And the correct answer is Option C. Canada France Hawaii Telescope and Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument Einstein's insight that matter tells spacetime how to curve and curved spacetime tells matter how to move was famously paraphrased by which physicist? Your options are A. Richard Feynman B. Stephen Hawking C. John Wheeler D. Subramanyam Chandrasekhar And the correct answer is Option C. John Wheeler